everyone welcome back to vintage vanity and the so so vintage series we are currently in the process of making a great 50s style halter top but we need to resize our pattern pieces because our printed pattern is for size 14 and we want to take this all the way up to a size 22 so we are taking our original pattern piece and we are resizing it so I'm going to show you exactly how to do that so let's get started. Since this is a downloaded pattern, before we start resizing, we actually want to make sure that the pattern printed out in its proper size. So you're going to take the your measuring tape and on the pattern there should be a one inch mark so that you can actually measure to see if it printed properly. Just hold up your measuring tape to it. If you have one inch, you're good to go. If it's anything more or less than an inch, you can either choose to reprint the pattern or choose to adjust as you're grading by whatever it is off. Let's talk pattern resizing. We're going to be taking these patterns and resizing them from a size 14 up to a size 22. And we're going to start things off with the front halter piece here. So find the center front of your pattern piece, line up your ruler, and then you're going to trace the line. This is your starting point for all of the movements you make on your resizing. Take our pattern and we're going to move it this way, a quarter of an inch for every size that we are moving this up. Take our ruler and we're just going to measure one inch. Slide the pattern piece up to the new line. And draw the full line. Now we're going to work at resizing the neck area. Yeah, we're only going to move by an eighth of an inch. We're going to be lining up with that center line once again. And then we're going to take our ruler, measure a half an inch, and line that new line up with our new line that we created earlier with the front. And then on this side here, we're going to be doing this by an eighth of an inch as well. So again, center line, take our ruler, line up there is our half of an inch we are going to notice that it kind of dips and sways here so i took that half an inch directly from the area that ha is straight so all we're going to do is we're going to hold on to that and we're just going to pull that up to the new line and then take your marker and then just trace along the pattern and then here we want to make sure we're meeting up so we're just going to shift it all up and then trace around the pattern once again. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to trace any markings. So I'm just going to center this up, place in my marks. The buttons are going to be a bit trickier. You're going to want to make sure that they're in the same location. So I'm actually going to punch a hole where the button sections are. I'm going to bring the pattern up to the top to match the button holes up at the top. Then I'm bringing the pattern to the bottom and matching the buttonholes at the bottom. Then I am centering the pattern as best I can, just eyeballing it and marking where the buttons go. This is, there we go, our brand new front halter size 22. With the back halter piece, you're going to move that center side over uh, a quarter of an inch for every size so we're moving out over an inch here on the top and the bottom you're going to move it by an eighth of an inch for every size so we're doing a half an inch a half of an inch and on this side we're doing an eighth of an inch as well so moving it a half of an inch you will end up with a piece that looks like this Next up is our halter trim. You can see I've already adjusted it. And for this, we just need to adjust the length since the halter trim, which is this section here, doesn't need to be widened. It just needs to be lengthened. So we're gonna do the same on each end, an eighth of an inch for every size. So a half an inch on each side. 
Now, the trick on this is when you're tracing it, you wanna make sure that you're tracing this curved section while you're still on the original center. Once you've got that drawn, go ahead and shift it down to finish off the line there. And lastly, we have our halter collar which is this piece right here. And again, it doesn't need to be widened, but it does need to be lengthened to match our new measurements. So once again, an eighth of an inch on each side of the halter collar. So a half of an inch going each way. And once again, always start your tracing with that being on the center point, and then move it over to complete it. We have all of our pattern pieces resize now because we've resized pattern pieces before we cut the fabric we want to make sure this is going to fit right and especially you want to make sure that if it if there's any fit problems that it airs on the side of a little too large because you can always take in you can never let out especially on a cut pattern piece so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to actually be cutting out two of each of these pattern pieces. Now you can choose to cut your pattern pieces all out on whatever pattern paper you choose, or you can use muslin. I'll be covering in next week's video how to take those pieces and kind of tack them together and put them either on you or on a mannequin if you have one like Marilyn back there, uh, and actually see how that is going to fit so that we can make any changes before making that final cut on our fabric pieces. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. So in that comment section, go ahead and let me know if you have any tips or tricks that you like to use in resizing your patterns. As always, give the video a like, a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it. it also helps to promote it. If you're new, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss next week's video, right? And it's completely free, so bonus! And as well, go ahead and check out any of my other videos. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye!